For the next few videos, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a series of functions and then we're going to apply these transformations to them. And we're going to see what they look like and what the new equation will be. Okay? So, we're going to start off with this one, looking at f of x is equal to x squared. And the first transformation we need to apply is a translation by the vector 3, 0. Okay, so, in each of these, I want to make sure that I'm sketching the original curve, which I will uh, draw in black, and then the transformed curve, which I'll draw in blue. So f of x minus 3 will be translated 3 to the right. Now, whenever performing a translation, really you just need one single point as a focal point to then redraw the curve. For a, <coughs> apologies. For a parabola, that would be the vertex, 0, 0. So if you just imagine picking the curve up by that point and then moving the whole curve along the x-axis, we can now redraw the curve so it looks something like that. So it would be going through 3 on the y-axis, OK? And our equation would be x minus 3 squared. The x in the function has been replaced with x minus 3, so the x in this function has been replaced with x minus 3. So if you multiplied that out, you'd get x squared minus 6x plus 9. So you can say it's crossing through the y-axis at 9. OK, and that would be a sketch of our transformed curve. OK, so that's the first one. So now, if we have a look at number 2, we've got y is equal to f of x plus 2. So let's redraw the original curve. Now, this is also a translation, but this time by the vector 0, 2. So the curve is moving two units up. OK, and once again, you can redraw it um, f using the vertex, OK? To go right, it has moved two up. All of the points on the curve have moved up two units, OK? So what would this equation be? Well, f of x is x squared plus 2. And so y equals x squared plus 2 would be the equation of this new curve. Now, for number 3, y equals f of 2x, well, that's a stretch parallel to the x-axis by factor 2. Oh, sorry, not factor 2, factor 1 half, OK? Because it's the reciprocal of the number next to the x, of the coefficient of x. So that means that if you're thinking about it from the 0, 0 point, OK, then that point won't change. Uh, because it's on the y-axis. All the other points that aren't on the y-axis will be compressed inwards by a factor of a half. So, oh, that's not very good. Let's try redrawing that. Let's try from this end first. Okay, something like that. So that every single point that is on the original curve its x-coordinate has been halved, and so it brings the curve inwards. So for its equation, if the x has been replaced with 2x, then the x here has been replaced with 2x. But you must remember that it's the whole thing of 2x has been squared if I replace the x with 2x. And so we get 4x squared. So y equals 4x squared would be this new curve. OK, let's look at this next one, number 4. y equals a half f of x. So, there's my original curve, y equals x squared. y equals a half f of x is a stretch by factor of a half parallel to the y-axis. So, in other words, it stretched it down that way. So it's compressing the graph. So the new graph will look something like this, okay, where every single point on y equals x squared 
its y coordinate has been halved. So if I'm sticking a half outside f of x, this is a half x squared. OK? So that's that one. That's number four. Now for number five, y equals f of minus x, well, that is a reflection. Because the x has been uh, changed to minus x, that will be a reflection in the y-axis. However, because a para this parabola, y equals x squared, is, has a line of symmetry on the y-axis, if you change this point and you change its x-coordinate to minus, it will just go over to this point, and this point will be mapped onto that point. And so, when you reflect it in the y-axis, the curve doesn't change. This is reflected, well, <laughs> no pun intended, this is reflected in the fact that if you replace the x with minus x in x squared, the minuses cancel out, and you just return to the original function. Okay? So... This is actually a, a, um, something that comes from why we would call y equals x squared an even function. Um, a graph where it is a reflection of itself in the line uh, x equals 0 in the y-axis, we refer to as even functions. So, if you're wondering why I didn't bother drawing the reflection, well, it would just map onto itself, okay? So just kept it the same. Uh, number six, y equals minus f of x. Now that is a reflection in the x-axis. So our new curve would look something like that. And because you've put minus outside of f of x, this is minus x squared. Okay? And that is how we can transform the curve f of x equals x squared.